while Photoshop just won the game. I mean, Adobe won the game, right? Well, it's Adobe. And the new sheriff in town, it's called Generative Fill. Now, this makes wonders. I mean, if you just have a photo and you, if you want a whole rechange of the photo, if you just want to add elements, if you want to add structures, if you want to add people, or if you want to remove mountains, if you want to remove cars, people, whatever, it's all possible. Basically, whatever comes to your mind, you can fix with this one. It's still in the beta version. You can see like these lines on the road, but it is really good. It can even like see what could be in the picture if the picture is like, I don't know, expanded or something like that. And just have a look at this deer, for example. It can be on the street. It's really good. It's really crazy. And of course, it opens up a whole world of possibilities in order for us to make money with this. I already have some options in mind and I'm going to talk about that later, but let me first demonstrate to you what can this do. So, for example, you can see in this video that it can just put like some lights on top of these mountains. It can do like three, four variations, just like Mid Journey, for example, does. And of course, it just works with the text prompt. What you type in, you get out. Now, have a look at this one. So, it's a large buck with antlers somewhere, wherever, and of course, in a matter of seconds. So I played a bit with this one and I gotta tell you, it can be funny. Have a look at this person, okay? He's got no hair, okay, that's funny. Well, he looks funny. So what can you do now? Well, you can just take your lasso tool and then you can just go around and you can just make a selection on here and then we can just play with this bald guy and just type in, for example, curly hair. Let's just play like that. So curly hair, click on the generate button. It needs just a few seconds. And voila, this guy has hair. I mean, now it is even more funnier, but you can just take these variations, you know? So for example, this one, this one, this one, you have a lot of these variations. And if you don't like it, you can always regenerate. So right now I can just go with like messy hair. Let's just do that. So messy hair, generate. Again, it needs only a few seconds. And this guy now has messy hair in six variations, okay? Now, this one is not natural. I don't know what this is, but this one is good. This one is good. And the first one was good. So, I mean, this one, yeah, it was a cool one. So, you can just play with this. A lot of variations. It's a really fun thing to do. And, of course, you can do a lot. Take a look at this picture, for example. I like the hall, let's say, or maybe your customer wants you to edit this photo. Maybe you are a freelancer. I'm going to talk about that later. Just one option for you to just drop service this thing to other people. It's a really good thing to do and make money with. But let's say that, for example, a customer told you that he doesn't want these people in the picture. So what do you want to do? Well, take your lasso tool. Just make a circle around these guys. And then in the generative fill, you can just tap and remove. So it does that as well. A few seconds and they're gone. Really good, really fun. Now here you can see that there's a tiny bit of a leftover. I mean, this is because I didn't make it like with lasso real good. But let me just try again with this one. Or you can just go and you can just now select this one. You can just select this like piece of a man that wasn't removed click on remove once more and that is going to be done now of course you can even add the objects you can just add whatever you want so let's say that for example someone told you bring me i don't know elephant in the room now what we can do well we can just go and make a circle again with the lasso now these people are gone so now in here i'm gonna make a small elephant so i'm just gonna write it like this so elephant you can see no like these crazy prompts like with mid journey you don't have to make like these crazy long specific prompts with this one you can just go and type in elephant and it's gonna be. So for example, I like this one. If I drew like bigger with lasso, I would even get the bigger one and it would suit me well. But this was just to demonstrate to you the power of this one. It's really good. And you can make a lot of money with this one. So for example, just imagine that you sell custom pictures on Etsy or I don't know, Upwork, Fiverr, Gig, whatever. Well, you can just change the backgrounds. That could be a really good niche because for the wedding, people just want all the best things, you know, and they just want to spend money for their wedding pictures. So that's one thing that you can do. You can just take these wedding photos and turn them into something else, something fun. And those guys will be like grateful because 
it just makes wedding more memorable, you know? Now, what people also do with this one is that they make money with print on demand. For this reason, you can just visit Printful, and I use Printful a lot. I just love Printful more than Printify, to be honest. I don't know why, but it just suits me, you know? You can create all sorts of things. They even give you like this sorts of a calculator. So you can just create t-shirts, mugs, hoodies. You can create posters, baseball caps, whatever. And all you gotta do is to upload the design, okay? So you can play a bit with Photoshop. You can make like these all crazy designs. And then you can just upload that to Printful. They will take care of printing, shipping, delivery, whatever. You just make the design and you get the fee for it. Of course, they will just take a fee out of that price for a hoodie, for example, but of course, they do everything for you. You don't have to do nothing at all, just design. Now, about that Photoshop thing, about that image design, about that image editing on Fiverr, that freelance thing, well, a lot of people are drop servicing Photoshop. But this is a new thing, you know? Something like this doesn't yet exist, and a lot of people don't know how to use it yet. In fact, you have to have Adobe Photoshop Beta. Now, not a lot of people have that, because this is like Photoshop Beta, and you have to go to your... You will just end up on all apps, but you have to go to Beta apps. And this is like Photoshop Beta, and this is where you can find it. The regular Photoshop doesn't have that, so you won't find the option there. Only this in the Beta version. So what you can do is you can just go and play a bit, get some experience with it, see what's what, how it works, what are the best results and what are the prompts that get those? And of course, you can just get a lot of money with it. Now, these people on Fiverr, they don't know it yet, okay? You are one of the first guys who just saw this. But have a look at this. They all have like 1K+, plus, 1K+. Plus. Just have a look at this. I mean, this is the real image. You can just do this with Photoshop. So, for example, this is the same thing that we seen on Generative Fill. So, let's say that, for example, customer told you, take this picture out of my two kids and just add these like bears behind and some like crazy wood snow you know you can do all of that okay you can do all of these things with generative fill before you just had to go with compositing you had to just mix and match and you have to just be really really specific with the like, moving images but now you don't have to do nothing ai tool and of course there's a lot of money in this just have a look at this 25 dollars for each one of these images and you can get it done in like i don't know maybe half an hour i mean half an hour 25 dollars and just have a look at how many sales this person has three thousand okay and this is like simple and basic edits on photos you have the standard version you know this is thirty dollars and premium one which is 40. now to be honest this generative fill you can just charge 40. okay it's complex editing you just sell it like that now i'm gonna show you some of the work that this guy's doing so just take a look at what he is combining he's combining all of that manually okay so he doesn't use generative fill you can do this way more easier okay so way more easier this can be done with generative fill that adobe has right now so hurry up get that free trial if you don't have an account yet and go and make images like these a lot of money can be made Either you use drop servicing, either you use print on demand, or just selling custom pictures. People are honestly crazy about this. Okay, so just have a look at this. These are like some custom colored portraits. You can even sell it like a painting, you know? So for example, there's like a wedding photo and you can just turn it into a painting, just like this person is doing. So custom watercolor portrait from photo, you can just do that with Adobe. So if you are serious about this one, if you already have some experience in Photoshop, this one is for you, you know, you can just get a lot of money with this one and you already got some experience. But if you are a beginner, you saw it, nothing hard. Just invest your time and the money will come. I'll catch you.